Pega 9 On Your Side Sports with Kayla Anderson. Good as gold, solid as gold, both are true. When describing D-backs first baseman Paul Goldschmidt, he continues to be one of the most consistent players in the league. And for that, he's being recognized. Around the infield we go, so it's not Freddie Freeman, it's Paul Goldschmidt who earns the number of votes to get the start. And so Goldie is selected to his second straight All-Star game, but this is his first selection as a starter. The last Arizona player to start in an All-Star game, Luis Gonzalez, back in 2001. While Goldie heads to the All-Star game in Minnesota, Brandon McCarthy packs his bags for New York. Today, the D-backs traded the right-handed pitcher to the Yankees in return getting lefty Vidal Nuno. McCarthy was 3-10 and with a 5.01 ERA this season. The D-backs trying to avoid the sweep against the Braves today. Pick it up the bottom of the first. Wade Miley on the mound strikes out Justin Upton. And then in the bottom of the second, doing the same right here, finishing off Chris Johnson. Miley finished with eight Ks on the day. Top of the third scoreless. Goldie, where you at? And he unloads deep down the left field line. And that one hits the foul pole. A long home run for Paul Goldschmidt. It's just what he does. That two-run bomb makes it 2 nothing. D-backs Addison re gets the save. Arizona wins 3-1. Since Arizona's national runner-up finish this year, Wildcat alum Brett Thompson has made major waves. Today, he signed a professional contract with Edinburgh, one of the most historic rugby clubs in Scotland. Thompson becomes the first U of A rugby alum to sign a pro contract since 1999. Wimbledon has to be has been good to Roger Federer, I should say, throughout the years. So good that he has seven titles. Federer going for number eight today against Novak Djokovic in the finals first set. Federer is going to pin Djokovic to the baseline. So then he hits the nice drop shot here. That clips the tape and falls in for the winner. So we go to a tie break after a short rally. Djokovic has the unforced error, and Federer gets the point to win the set 7-6. Fourth set we go, Djokovic serving for the championship, but Federer had other ideas. After Djokovic takes a tumble right here, Federer hit the winner. He'd fourth a fifth set to the championship point. Federer, no more magic, backhand into the net, and Djokovic gets his second Wimbledon title today. Now the formality. Put him in the win column. And Hal Cabrera. Cabrera wins the Greenbrier Classic today for his first non-major victory on the PGA Tour, closing with his second straight six under 64 for a two-stroke victory over George McNeil. Tucson's own Michael Thompson finishes tied for 11th at eight under. To the track for a wet Coke 0400 at Daytona after a 25-minute rain delay. Drivers get back to racing. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. gets loose. He gets into Tony Stewart to kick off a chain reaction of events that led to 16 damaged cars, including Carl Edwards and Tony Stewart. Stewart. And then we go to lap 98. More trouble. Oh, here we go. Trouble. That's Casey Kane that goes sideways. Joey Logano nowhere to go. You have to feel this guy. The big one at Daytona has happened at lap 97. That's right. That left Kyle Busch upside down. So then we go to lap 113. The red flag comes out due to rain again. It just did not stop raining here. And that would be a 52-minute delay. The race is declared official. Eric. Almarola getting his first career victory. And I also wanted to mention that our own Alex Bowman, who races and was racing today, finished with a career best number 13. He finished 13th oh, overall today. So not bad. But that, was, that was yeah. crazy. I've seen that firsthand at Talladega. It's pretty nuts. Yeah, I, I, I hate to say, but it just looks like matchbox cars. It does. You know? Mm -hmm. But uh, that is 